so in previous classes uh, we study the renewable energy and the advantages of renewable energy and some different sources of renewable energy and their advantages now we are moved toward a uh, solar so in solar first of all you will study the radiations is you know that in previous lab when we were doing the lab so we it is necessary for us to download the solar radiation uh, database and we say that uh, the this database can be formed through manually by observe it uh, by the people who observe this and when they do real project for a specific area but uh, in lab point of view we want that uh, there is uh, some uh, companies nasa etc they have already calculated the radiation for uh, specific for areas so we will select the area and then we will download the specific uh, radiation pattern that uh, what is the intensity at that time simple we mean that uh, it is necessary to know the solar radiation at specific area so therefore today lecture is about solar radiation that what is solar radiation and how percent we can use the solar radiation and when we use the solar radiation entirely but we can but we uh, if we use 0.01 percent of uh, solar so it will be efficient for entire energy uh, for the world so what is solar radiations so the radiation come from the sun is called solar radiation the power of the sun which is intercepted by the earth is approximately 1.810 to raise 11 megawatt this is the sun power that intercept to our earth come to our earth which our earth receive so this is the 1.810 to the power 11 megawatt it is very large quantity so it is observed that if we use 0.01 percent of this power then it will be sufficient for entire world energy demand so up to now we are unable to use 0.01 percent of this radiation and the people is doing uh, some research in this side that use um, the power maximumly from the sun so you will uh, you should to know that what is the amount of energy of the power come from the sun to the earth which is 1.8 10 to the power 11 megawatt but if you use 0.01 percent of this power it will be sufficient for the entire world energy demand so let's study that the these radiation come from the sun so what is its spectrum what type of radiation they contain and how the sun radiate this radiations so is the sun being up energy source and because of nuclear fission in it you will be know that there are two types of uh, uh, reaction one is nuclear fission and one is nuclear fusion in nuclear fusion the, this reaction is done in the uh, sun uh, and this is the exothermic reaction you know that what is endothermic friction and what is exothermic friction in exothermic radiation uh, reaction the radiation will be emitted and uh, in nuclear fusion reaction 
two hydrogen are combined and they form helium and high amount of energy will be released in this case this uh, reaction is called nuclear fusion but when we bombard the alpha particle or neut uh, sorry neutron on the body and uh, specific uh, atoms so they radiate they cut into two pieces and they uh, generate three electrons and also produce high amount of energy this is called nuclear fission and nuclear fission is used in uh, nuclear plants nuclear plant is the one method of generation electricity and this plant the energy is produced by byproduct so the rays emitted by the sun are so what is the uh, uh, rays emitted by the sun so they are uh, different categories so some of the sun rays are infrared and some of the rays are ultraviolet and some of the rays in visible range and some of them is called gamma rays and some of this is called x-rays these are different rays that radiated by the sun and sun is a very hard body due to the fusion reaction occur in the inside the sun so if we see here so the sun contains two parts the first is its surface this is its surface and the other part is inside the sun so the area inside the sun is called core of the sun and this is called surface of the sun it is similar to the atomic structure that an atom consists of two parts one is core and one is valence shell the temperature of the core is very high and its temperature uh, is approximately 10 to the power 7 kelvin and the surface temperature is 5880 kelvin this is the temperature of the uh, sun surface we will use this in our numerical problem the ts so T S means surface uh, uh, surface of sun temperature, and you will be know it. It will be remember. You will remember this that what is its value. So five eight eight zero is the value of the T S. As they give us some uh, numericals and they does not give the value of the T S, but he says that uh, consider the temperature of the surface of the sun. So we will use then this value so you should remember it the t is the and t is the core of the sun whose temperature is 10 to power of k the the radiations of the sun that come from the sun surface to the earth is called extraterrestrial rays it is when you uh, when someone asks from you okay, what is that uh, extraterrestrial rays so those rays which come from the sun to the earth surface is called extraterrestrial rays and these extraterrestrial rays are mainly infrared visible range and ultraviolet the sun radiate all uh, types of rays but the rays comes to the earth it will contain three portion majorly uh, visible infrared and some portion of ultraviolet some portion of ultraviolet Sorry, so, eh, jo ultraviolet rays hoti, ye to wo dangerous hoti hai na. so uh, that is why we say that some portion of ultraviolet waves come to the earth not entirely so there we uh, will consider 
the two uh, graphs one graph will contain all types of the range this is the band there to from which wavelength to other wavelength is uh, visible and this is uh, in which is the ultraviolet and from where uh, we will uh, from where the infrared rays are started and then we will uh, discuss the second uh, graph this graph this graph show that the rays come from the sun to the earth which start from 0.3 to 3.5 so the rays uh, come from the sun toward the earth are uh, these so in if you see in this graph you will see that the ultraviolet band is very narrow 0.3 to 0.4 and uh, in, uh, actually this range is from 1.1 to 0.4. So uh, that is why we st study that the rays come from uh, uh, the rays come from the sun to the earth air uh, contain three major, but in this ultraviolet be very small. And uh, now you uh, and now it will be clear for you that why ultraviolet rays are come here uh, in very low amount. So um, it's, uh, the advantages of this is that uh, this is dangerous for us. But why they come low? So it will be clear for you in this lecture also, either in coming lecture that the penetration of ultraviolet. Uh, uh, rays, uh, violet rays is low and they radiate near to the sun and cannot come here, but some portion can here. Uh, this uh, graph show that, uh, uh, this graph show that the spectrum of uh, different rays. The minimum wavelength of radiation is 0 0.1 micrometer. Here we uh, write that lambda and we have write in bracket uh, uh, micrometer. By micrometer, we, uh, it is, we consider that this is not in meter and neither in centimeter. So when someone write just point 0.1, one, which is which unit be directly, it means that it is in micrometer. So there is come uh, the, the, the different ranges of uh, uh, rays are ultraviolet rays will be start from 0.1 micrometer to 0.4 micrometer and the visible range is from 0.4 to 0.7 in the range of infrared rays are 0.7 to 100 micro uh, 100 micro meter so now in visible range there are by visible range we mean that uh, they are visible in uh, invisible range there are seven seven type of light rays and someone can study through this by a formula this is called WebGR. By in WebGR, the we mean violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange, and red. So invisible range there is such type of uh, rays. So the solar, uh, uh, this is uh, now we study the solar quantification. This is the uh, overall quantification of the rays. The, the rays from, uh, from 0.1 millimeter micrometer to 100 micrometer can be uh, converted into three different bands, ultraviolet band, visible range, and infrared band. So in these bands start from 0.1 to 0.4 and 0.4 to 0.7 and 0.7 to 100. Now, let's come to what the sun so the solar radiation quantification so the solar radiation quantification mean that the 
rays come from the sun to the earth so at what range they will be lie and what is its emissive power the power radiated by the sun is called emissive power or other body which radiate power so we said that this is its emissive power as the sun outer temperature is 5880 kelvin it mean it emit radiation in all possible direction and as sun behave like circ uh, sphere shape so it mean that it will radiate radiation in all direction it is behave like point source and point source can radiate uh, energy in all direction you can uh, in the, the analogy of the sun radiation can be done with the pebble into the lake when you drop pebble into the lake so it will generate the disturbance in such uh, manner for example if we drop pebble here so it will generate the waves in circular form and this circular uh, radiation uh, waves will be generated in all direction in all direction so similarly this is the sun and it radiate the energy in all direction and as you are the students of electronics and you will study the communication side uh, very well in these two uh, semester fifth and seven so we will study that uh, this is behave like isotropic antenna and what is mean by isotropic antenna the antenna which radiate the energy in all possible direction in all possible direction and then we will do for toward directivity that uh, human are interested that uh, deliver the uh, radiation in specific direction so for this point of view we will convert that when we insert bts bts mean base station uh, for example mobile ka ho the terrenar ka ho other ka so it will radiate the energy in uh, its cell and this cell is behave like this so we can do this uh, we can divide this into three major parts three major parts this part this part this part so we will use one antenna for this portion one antenna for this portion one antenna for this portion so when you uh, see to the towers of j's other so there will be maximum three antennas in three direction because to cover this portion to cover this portion to cover this portion uh, sim simple we mean that as the sun outer temperature is 5880 kelvin its emit radiation in all possible direction equally there so and uh, the body which radiate the energy in all possible direction equally is called diffuse body is called diffuse body the body which radiate energy in all possible direction is called diffuse body so sun is a diffuse body you can uh, say that the sun is a diffuse body the experimental study show that the intensity that reach to the earth surface is nearly one kilowatt per meter square this is the intensity of the sun radiation in intensity you mean that the power per unit per unit area the power delivered by the body to the surface per unit area is called intensity it means for example uh, it can be sound intensity it can be uh, light intensity so in t for example this is the sun or and this is the uh, square area so how many energy it gives to this area this is called intensity of the uh, energy intensity of the sun radiation 
and which is approximately one kilowatt per meter square. This is the unit of intensity. In intensity per unit micrometer is the unit of emissive power. So the experimental study showed that the intensity that reached Earth's surface is nearly one kilowatt per meter square. The solar radiations cover the entire range of visible range and some portion of ultraviolet and infrared range as shown in the figure. The solar radiation is distributed non-uniformly. What is meant by non-uniformly? That uh, some portion will be small, some portion will be large, some portion will be uh, so the solar radiation is distributed non-uniformly over the range of 0.3 to 3.5 micrometer. So its emissive power, what is mean by the emissive power? The intensity per unit per u per unit micrometer is called emissive power. The power delivered by the body. And it can be expressed that the intensity of the body divided by micrometer wavelength that uh, which type of radiation it uh, radiates now. So how you will calculate this emissive power? So the emissive power radiated by the sun is given by the equation whose name is Planck's equation. And Planck said it the emissive power at specific wavelength, at specific wavelength. For example, uh, in the case of ultraviolet range, how many emissive power it emit? In the case of visible range, how many uh, energy it uh, emit? In case of infrared. And then in the case of uh, visible range, there are seven uh, different wavelength. And if there is a only single one wavelength, then this is called monochromatic waves. So the visible range is consists of seven monochromatic waves, which is which can be found uh, found through WebGR. So the emissive power is given by C1 divided by lambda to the power five n2 e to the power C2 divided by lambda t minus one. What is C1 and C2? C1 and C2 are the constant in numerical equation. They will give us that what is C1 and C2 in this case. And lambda is the wavelength of the radiation emitted by the body. And T is the temperature that uh, uh, radiation at their, uh, when they emit such type of uh, radiation. So what is the temperature at that? Uh, what is the temperature of the surface? What is the temperature of the sun surface at that time? Uh, yeah, either of the body at that time. Is yes, the surface uh, of the sun is constant value. So E lambda is equal to C1 lambda <coughs> 5 E into C2 divided by lambda T minus 1. This is called Planck's equation. And this equation show the emissive power of the sun. So when we uh, sketch this equation, so it will give us this graph. In this graph, there are two uh, lines. One is horizontal, and this is vertical. By the horizontal, show the wavelength of uh, radiated waves and micrometer and the vertical line show the emissive power and you know that the sun radiates energy from 0.3 micrometer to 3.5 micrometer so as you know that from 0.4 to 0.7 this is visible range so the sun cover the entire range of the visible range and from 0.1 to 0.4 this is ultraviolet and the sun uh, and the sun radiate the energy uh, of ultraviolet band 
just from 0.3 to 0.4 microliter. And from 0.7 to onward, this portion is infrared. So infrared, uh, the radiation comes from the sun is 0.7 to 3.5. And you should see that this is not uniform. Yes, this portion is uh, uh, small, this is very large, and this is moderate as compared to this. So the, uh, this portion is not uniform. And also, the emissive power is increased at specific. We have learned it is maximum. And then it uh, decreases further. Uh, specific for the other violin and it is uh, and it is comes from this equations when we uh, insert these values so in sketch this it will behave like this so what is the unit of uh, emissive power the emissive power unit is what per meter sphere per micrometer so what is the watt per meter square is the intensity and micrometer is the unit of wavelength it means the intensity per unit micrometer wavelength is called emissive power and it is denoted by e lambda and what is the black body black body mean in solar radiation point of view and physics point of view either in radiation point of view we we will say the body is black when it radiate all the energy stored by the body for example if there is a body and for example this is the body and this body store some energy come from specific source then it radiates entirely then this body will be black body so we will define there some term that the energy come here so what is its name and some will be reflect back and some will be transmitted so these there are we will define three term also here so what is the black body? The black body is that body which radiates the entire energy store in the body. For the black body, the pro so it is uh, this is uh, there is a formula which is only applicable to the black body. So for the black body, the product of the lambda and the temperature T must be equal to a constant whose value is two eight nine eight. Mathematically, we can see right that lambda t is equal to 2898. 2898. Lambda t is equal to 2898. This is the mathematical statement of uh, this statement. This is the mathematical form of this statement. And this is Allah. A specific language so it means that uh, if you see that why uh, uh, if you see that uh, this the maximum emissive power is this and all the power emissive power from this point is low and also in this direction all the emissive power is low it means that the maximum emissive, emissive power is uh, the maximum ABC power is emit. So the wavelength of that wave will be 0 0.49, 0 0.49 meter. 0.49 meter. So uh, how we will uh, derive that uh, is uh, uh, that uh, the wavelength is 0.49 meter so consider this equation that lambda t is equal to 
consider this equation that lambda t is equal to 2h9h 2h9h so if you want to find the lambda so lambda is equal to 2h9h divided by capital t and what is this t this show the temperature and suppose this is the surface is the radiation radiate from the sun so it, it is radiate from the surface so you can write this this is 2898 divided by ts and we know that what is the value of the ts the ts is the 5880 if you divide this by this, so it gives us 5.49 micrometer. So it is clear that the maximum temperature on the surface sun is Ts, and the maximum emissive power wavelength will be 0.498. The maximum, the maximum. Emissive power wavelength will be 0.498. So, if someone asks you that calculate the emissive power, you also can calculate if they give C1 and you know the lambda is this 5 into eta power C2. So, it, this is constant. Lambda, this is, uh, this is the value of O we have already calculated and capital t is the surface of the earth minus one so you can calculate the emissive power at that uh, wavelength so someone can ask from you that through that the maximum emissive power will be radiated at wavelength of 0.4 micrometer. So you can prove, as we have proved. But when someone change this, through that, the, um, the uh, through that, the surface, uh, the temperature of the surface is 5880, when the sun radiate, when the sun radiate, maximum emissive power. Try to understand the question. The one numerical question is that through that, the emissive power, the maximum emissive power is emitted by the wavelength of lambda is equal to 0.49 micrometer. The other is that prove that the surface temperature is 5880 when it emit maximum emission power so you can calculate and the third question is that find the emission power for um, wavelength this and this area are uh, find the emission power maximum emission power for the sun so you can write this in this equation, but he will give you C1 and C2. So uh, this is the uh, sun in sun radiation quantification. So in numerical point of view. Sometimes we need that what is the diameter of the earth, what is the diameter of the sun, and what is the distance between the uh, sun and the earth. The diameter of the earth is DE, and this is 1.3 10 to the power 4 kilometer. But the distance between the sun and the earth varies, you know. So we will, st uh, we can uh, study that the distance from the sun. So we will uh, consider the mean distance. Yes, sometimes the earth will be near to the sun, sometimes it will be away from the sun. So we will consider the 
uh, mean length. So the mean length between the Earth and the Sun is 1.8 10 to the power 8 kilometer. And the diameter of the Sun is ds, which is 1.4 10 to power 6 kilometer. We will use this in some numerical. Above are thermal views and solar radiation problems. So let's uh, define just two laws. The first law already we have uh, discussed that the product of the lambda t will be constant, which is uh, 2898. And this law is called Wien's displacement law. Wien's displacement law. Wien's displacement law state that the product of the wavelength and the temperature t for specific emissive power, for specific emissive power, there will be a specific temperature t and there will be a specific wavelength lambda. So the product of these two must be equal to a constant which is 2898. And this is called Wien's displacement law. And the, by help of Wien's displacement law, we can calculate that the maximum emissive power of the sun will radiate the wave of the wave of wavelength 0.49 micrometer. So when someone uh, asks you that through that, through through Wien's law, that uh, the emissive power emitted by the sun, maximum emissive power emitted by the sun has wavelength of 0.49 micrometer. So you can calculate as we have calculated in previous page. The body which emit all the absorbed radiation is called uh, what is black body? So it's called the defined case. So chalo, the predefined case. The body which emit all absorbed radiation is called black body. What is black body? That body which emit all the absorbed radiation is called black body. The body will absorb the radiation and then it will radiate. If they radiate entire, so this will be the black body. And the wind's displacement law is only applicable to black body. If the body is not black, so we can't apply this. Planck's equation. This is one law and this is second law. Second law is the uh, equation. Yeah, second law show that what will be the emissive power emitted by the uh, radiation. So the emissive power of specific wave length radiation is given by equation C1 lambda k power 5 is C5 divided by lambda t minus 1. This is called Planck's equation. So uh, what is used uh, of the pro, uh, what is the purpose of Planck's equation? It shows the emissive power. What is the use of uh, lambda uh, uh, Wien's displacement law? It shows us for black body that the product of these will be constant. Now, Stephen Boltzmann law, this is the third law in the case of radiations. He says that what is the total emissive power? Now, as you have found that lambda t will be constant, and you can calculate the emissive power at specific wavelength. But as the sun radiate the energy in a specific range. So how you will calculate the total emissive power radiated by the sun by the other body? So we will add up a uh, simple, we can add by uh, addition method, but the, there are large quantity. So the, uh, as you know that integration in the time domain is equal to summation in the discrete domain. Discrete time domain or continuous time domain, see that means your relation tau eta k, the sum in the discrete domain will be equal to the integration in time domain. And you have studied this in the signal and system that uh, when you do convolution, so there are two, one is called convolution integral and one is called con convolution sum. 
So the convolution sum is used for discrete and the integral is used for continuous. So as you know that in this graph, this is continuous time graph. So how you will calculate the total emissive power? So the area under the curve show the total emissive power. So how you will calculate the total area under the curve? By adding these values. How you will add this? By taking integration. So the statement of the Stefan Boltzmann law is that the total emissive power per the black body is the integral sum of emissive power at specific wavelength in spectrum distribution graph. When you calculate this part, so it will gives us from 0 to infinity E lambda D lambda. And when you calculate this, it will be equal to sigma T k power 4. And sigma is the constant whose value is 5.8. This is called Stepan Boltzmann's law constant. And it shows that the value of the sigma is 5.68 10 to power minus 8 watt per meter sphere into kilowatt. This portion from intensity. So let's start the uh, some definition for radiation point of view that when a body radiate, so uh, some portion will be reflected back, some will be transmitted. So for this, we will study three terms. What is mean by emissivity? So as in real world, there is no black body. So the actual body will be absorbed, radiate more, and cannot radiate totally. And the black body will absorb all and will uh, emit all radiation. So we can compare the body to the black body. So the ratio of the actual emissive power of the body uh, to the black body is called emissivity. The ratio of the actual emissive power of the body to the emissive power of the black body is called emissivity. Is in real world, this is impossible to uh, that all body are black and they, and they absorb the radiation and emit the radiation. So we can compare this to what the black body. In similar case, we will study in coming semester in the case of antenna that uh, how we will check the gain and other directivity of the antenna. So we will study, we will compare the actual directivity of the actual antenna to the isotropic antenna, to the isotropic antenna, to gain to the isotropic antenna. So similarly, the ratio of the actual emissive power of the body to emissive power is called the emissivity. And it is the uh, E lambda divided by EB. E lambda means the emissive power of uh, actual. And EB means here the... Uh, so the EB means the emissive power of the black body. So this is called emissivity. What is mean by absorbility? Emissivity is denoted by epsilon. And uh, what is mean by absorbility? So if the radiation, if this is body and the radiation come here from some other body, so the entire radiation will not be absorbed by this. But if this is black body, it will absorb entirely. Either we say that the total power, the total power come toward this is uh, greater than the absorbed. The radiation come from the source to the body will be large, but they will not absorb entirely.
So uh, the, we cannot. So if there, what is mean by absorbability? So the ratio of the power absorbed by the body to the total power. The total power came here and they absorb some portion. So the ratio of the total power to the absorb is called absorbability. And it is measured by alpha. And what is mean by reflectivity? So absorbility ki value jitni zyada hota chuhi. Agar ham absorb particles se interested ho. And what is mean by reflectivity? The power reflect back to the total power. For example, power came here and some portion reflect and some absorb. So the ratio of the reflected power to the total power is called reflectivity and it is denoted by rho and denoted by rho. And this is called reflection coefficient. This is called reflection coefficient. And this reflection coefficient is very important and you will study this in your wireless communication and optical fiber communication that we are very interested in uh, reflection coefficient that what is the reflection coefficient value and what is the reflectivity and why we are interested so they will be clear in your uh, subjects here uh, that uh, in subject of wireless communication and optical fiber communication that we are uh, very inter interested in this way and uh, here uh, in the case of radiation uh, we will uh, minimize this effect because we are unable we we will not uh, we 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 not want that uh, our energy reflect back we want that absorb the uh, absorb our energy by the body so the reflectivity means the power energy reflected divided by total energy power so this is called reflectivity and similarly the transmittivity mean if this is the total energy and they are absorbed they are reflect and some of energy has been transmitted here so the amount of energy transmitted to the total power is called transmittivity as mean it's called transmittivity and if we study that the total uh, reflected power, reflected power plus absorbed power plus transmitted power will be equal to what total power. And uh, what is the reflectivity? Reflectivity, absorbility, and transmittivity. This will be equal to one. Here one came up. Alpha plus rho plus ta is equal to one. This is ta. It's called alpha rho ta. So the sum of these will be one. And why this is be one? Because some portion will be uh, reflected. Some portion will be absorbed some portion will be transmitted. So if we add these two, uh, three, so it will be equal to total power. So if we calculate the factor, that reflectivity factor and the absorbility factor and transmittivity factor, it will be one. As when one is multiplied to this quantity, it will give same quantity. So the uh, alpha plus rho plus tau is equal to one. And you can check your uh, Google Classroom. There is assignment that through that alpha plus rho plus tau is equal to one. So you search it uh, and you can prove through mathematically. And uh, you also can prove that uh, by discussion. So uh, do, it, uh, do this assignment, check your Google Classroom. So the reflection, uh, so the radiation flux, 
مونځ په لګ لیټ کو یو پنځه منټ دا لم چیر کړه نمریکل شروع کوم دین با مخ کې وقفه وکړو صحیح وان پیج او د ریډیشن فلاکس وټ از مین باي د ریډیشن فلاکس سو د پاسینګ اف د پاور ریډیشن تھرو ا گیون ایریا از کال ریډیشن فلاکس ان د فلاکس پوینټ اف ویو ویو هیو سټډی ان د ڈی ای لیول ار ان ای پی سی دیر دیر ار الیکٹرک فلاکس اینڈ میگنیٹک فلاکس سو وٹ از مین بائی الیکٹرک فلاکس دا نمبر آف الیکٹرک فیلڈ لائن پاسنگ تھرو دا سرفیس نمبر آف میگنیٹک فیلڈ لائن پاسنگ تھرو دا سرفیس سو سیملرلی دی ریڈیشن پاسز تھرو دا سرفیس تھرو دا ایریا از کال ریڈیشن فلاکس سو دس از دی پاور ریڈیٹڈ پر ونٹ ایریا وٹ از مین بائی پاور ریڈیٹڈ واٹ پر میٹر اسکیئر and it is uh, similar like intensity amount of energy given to per unit area is called intensity so kirchhoff's law it uh, this uh, this uh, the kirchhoff said it when if there is a thermal equilibrium what is mean by thermal equilibrium the thermal equilibrium we mean that when we radiate energy to the body and no energy reflect back so this is called thermal equilibrium so in this case the amount of energy radiated toward the body is equal to the absorbed absorb energy and this equation uh, mathematically say that emissivity is equal to uh, absorbability So this is called Kirchhoff law. The emissivity at thermal equilibrium, the emissivity must be equal to absorbability. This is called uh, Kirchhoff law. Kirch Will someone say that uh, define Kirchhoff law? So this is the statement. What is mathematical said? Emissivity is equal to uh, absorbility. So therefore, we uh, study this term first, and then we study this law. So let's start that. as you know that the lambda t is equal to c a constant so if lambda is increases so temperature will be decreases as there is inverse relation between them as lambda is equal to c divided by t so if lambda increases the temperature will be decreases and if lambda uh, uh, n temperature will be uh, decreases and what is the uh, relation between f and uh, lambda and f is equal to c by lambda C is equal to F lambda. You do you know this equation? C is equal to F lambda. Speed will must be equal to the product frequency and wavelength. So from this we see that C divided by lambda. So if lambda is in uh, increases, the frequency will be decreases. So if lambda is increases, the temperature will be decreases, and the this show new this new mean frequency so the frequency will be decreases and this is called low penetration and uh, it will cover the long distance therefore therefore uh, the uh, when we see to the sun in morning it look like red why it look like red is we uh, you know that we uh, we know that r is uh, the wavelength of the r is high we dear to so uh, uh, the red the wavelength of the red is high it mean its frequency is low when its frequency is low so it have low penetration and it will cover long distance 
in morning uh, when we see to the uh, sun so at that consider this is the earth consider this is the earth and this is the space in which the sun will be came so the sun we consider that the sun will be moved in this direction so when the sun is here so the the rays will become in this direction they will enter to this portion and the distance between the distance between the sun and the earth is large so the other radiation will not cover this distance but the red uh, the red radiation has high wavelength so it will uh, radiate uh, it will cover long distance so that is why in morning the sun uh, look like red when uh, this is 12 pm so the sun is here so they cover the short distance so the all rays can came so it see like white so in morning the sun is red white due to the low penetration in long distance cover up the red uh, waves if we consider uh, small this is par uh, large wavelength if we consider the small wavelength the temperature will be high and the frequency will be high they have high penetration and uh, will be less distance and cover less distance and if we see that with gr So, if we here uh, see here blue, so blue has small wavelength, wave gear. It means that the uh, term is here have low wavelength and the term here have high wavelength. So the B is here, so it have low wavelength. It means its wavelength is low. So the temperature is high and its frequency is high and it will cover low distance it means that these the uh, sun radiate the energy so the blue radiation cannot come to the earth they penetrate here as yes, they cannot cover the distance a lot so that is why the sun is the the, so the sky is blue the sky is blue why the sky is blue is the sun radiate energy of a different um, uh, wavelength. So in uh, in this case, the green, uh, the blue have high penetration and low distance cover. So they can't come here. They penetrate here. So when they penetrate here, so that is why we see the sky is blue. let's take 10 minute break and after 10 minutes we will do just a uh, uh, two numerical problem and hope it will be covered in 15 minutes sir the hello sir yes sir the numer so now let's start uh, uh, about uh, uh, numerical problems so numerical first numerical problem is simple and we will discuss this numerical problem in uh, coming class we will do another problem so uh, determine the range of the wave length in which the earth emit radiation if we assume the earth is black body we assume that the earth is black body and you find the range of wavelength if the temperature range is 25 kilo to 300 kilo suppose that the temperature range is from 250 to 300 k 
kill uh, kill one and consider that the earth is black body so what type of radiation it will absorb and if it uh, absorb the radiation so what uh, type of wavelength it will uh, radiate either uh, ultraviolet either visible either infrared so as you know that solution so as you know that lambda t is equal to constant and this constant is 2898 so there are two temperature temperature uh, this and temperature this this is low temperature and this is high temperature so consider the lambda 1 so lambda 1 t1 is equal to 2898 so lambda 1 is equal to 2898 divided by t1 if we write the uh, greater temperature so the wavelength will be smaller so suppose we insert this so this is 9.8 micrometer and if this is lambda 2 and this is 2898 divided by t2 and we will write t2 is 250250 so if we uh, write 250 so it will be equal to a 1164 micrometer so if we if we see that 9.8 is greater than uh, from 0.7 and this is also greater than uh, 0.7 and the range greater than 0.7 is infrared as you know that there are uh, ranges from 0.1 to 0.4 is ultraviolet from 0.4 to 0.7 is visible and from 0.7 to 100 is infrared so uh, as the 11 and other 9 point uh, uh, something this is greater than 0 0.7 it means that in this case the earth will radiate the infrared radiation simple see numerical thing first see the question is that determine the range of the wavelength aap kya find kare the range of wavelength find kare in which the earth emits radiation if we assume that earth is black body and the temperature range is 250 uh, kelvin to 300 kelvin so it means that lambda 1 t1 is equal to constant so lambda 1 t1 is this and lambda 2 t2 is 2898 so lambda 1 is equal to 2898 divided by t1 and lambda 2 is equal to 98 uh, 2898 divided by t2 so uh, if we Mm, uh, I'm gonna write uh, 300 here and 250 here so it will uh, give us 9.6 and 11.64 so the range is from 9.6 micrometer to 11.4 and this is the infrared range